Hello and welcome to this week's video. This is of course my entry into round two of the Best in Beauty competition and this week we had to do a tutorial and I've wanted to do a tutorial on this look for quite a long time because I really really love it. It's from Beautiful Creatures. If you haven't seen it you probably won't know what I'm on about but I'll probably put a picture of Emmy Rossum who wears this makeup in the film in the thumbnail so you'll know roughly what it's supposed to look like. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's get going. Okay, let's get started with some Revlon Colour Stay. I am going to be using this because it is a medium to full coverage and Emmy Rossum in the film has amazing skin so as you can see I clearly do not have amazing skin and therefore have to use it. But I'm going to use a Real Techniques Expert face brush just to buff this in. Oh, I've spotted a bruise. Next, I'm going to cover my imperfections in Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This one's in Fair. And I'm just going to pop that on and then dab it out with my fingers because that's how I love to blend. That's how I roll. And I'm just going to prime the eye with some primer pushing because we don't want our stuff slipping all over the place. Blending, blending, blending with the fingers. Blending with the fingers. Then I'm going to use this, which is the Rimmel Scandal Eyeshadow Stick, and this is going to form a base for our black eyeshadow. And this does not have to be neat. As you will see, I will look very stupid and a little bit panderish, but um, yeah, it doesn't have to be neat, so it's alright. Just popping that all over the lips. Make sure you go right into the crease or as far as you can with that getting it everywhere and then I'm just going to blend this out with a dome shadow brush and this is by Real Techniques as well again doesn't have to be neat just a base it's a good job it doesn't have to be neat isn't it then we're going to use the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to be using Blackout because it is the best black eyeshadow ever and I'm going to put this all over the top of that shadow stick that I just put on this you may want to be a little bit neater because this stuff is not easy to get off. Then I'm just going to take a 217 MAC brush and just blend that out. Not too much, we don't want it going up and towards the brow, we just want to make it nice and softer. Again on the other side, blendy blendy. Then I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics 120 eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using this lovely pinky raspberry colour and this is going to go into the crease and we're just going to wing it out. So you want to, want to grab a tissue for this because it's the easiest way I find. And then we're just going to pop most of the colour on the outer corner so we don't want to put too much colour too far out because we're going to blend it that way anyway. And then just whack it into the crease and then sort of give it a little flick out a bit but not too much you don't have to do it too much I did quite a lot to be honest may have gone a bit smaller with it but hey ho and then blend it out again with your 217 blendy blendy make sure it's all nice and blended there's a lot of blending in this guys and then again over on your other eye I did go wrong with this actually I think I cut it out blendy 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 then I'm going to use this waterproof cold Kajal eyeliner from Rimmel and it is the Scandalize one and it is in black obviously. And I'm just going to tight line the eyes, tight lining, crazy eyeballs. And then pop them on the waterline. You might want to make it quite nice and thick so you want to go on the waterline but also on the lower lash line as well making it really really thick. You want to go all gothic and a bit kiss on this. Oh, I'm a bit vigorous with that. And then I'm going to take this Real Technique shader brush and I'm just going to blend that out a bit because it looks a bit dodgy. A bit too grungy for me. And then I'm going to put some Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara on. I'm going to put a few coats on of this because we want nice thick eyelashes. Crazy eyeballs once again. Crazy, crazy eyeballs. And then we're going to use some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I like to use this 
mostly on my oily areas or really shiny areas but she has quite a matte finish to her face so we want to use it pretty much everywhere and now we're going to move on to MAC Cock eyeshadow which is the best eyeshadow for redheads and she is a redhead in the film so it does perfect and also as you can see I'm clearly ginger so it's perfect for me as well just using a small angled brush to do this Next I'm going to use NARS Orgasm Blush and I don't use this enough, I'm a bit sparing with it to be honest, I could probably put a bit more on but it scares me because it's quite strong. We just want to put it on top of your cheekbones, not too far down. And then MAC Lipstick in Hang Up which is a gorgeous gorgeous colour, one of my favourite lipsticks ever and I'm going to use a lip brush to put this on because I don't want it to be too strong. You can put it straight from the tube if you want it a bit stronger but I just wanted sort of like a little washer colour. And there we have it! So I hope that was easy to follow and understand and looked okay but please remember to go over to the video linked in the description below and vote for me. You just have to vote once only one comment will count as one vote. If you vote for like me a hundred times, only one of your comments will count. But yeah, you need to go over to her video, Jen Loves Reviews video down below and comment in the comment section my name and that is pretty much all you have to do. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial for this week. I will see you on Wednesday for a review. Goodbye. And then you have another mat here which is called Book. And obviously you go from the lightest to the darkest. So you don't have a matte black, which I'm not that big on because...